Hey everybody, welcome back once again to Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, where we are doing our thing here in the park. We have a Dryosaurus, we have a Stegosaurus, we have a Carnivore, which I can't pronounce over there, yonder, in this direction. That thing, the Cerosaurus. Um, you can pause your screen and read it later. But, um, yeah. So, we are almost, um, into our second year of the park. It is right now the hot, hot summer of 2001, and um, yeah, things are going, I, I want to say swimmingly, but um, we, we've had our, our ups and downs, to be honest. We have an all-time high of 50 people here at the park, and six dinosaurs. Unfortunately, we've had one death here in the park um, with a little dryosaurus that got sick and died. Um, he had an upset tummy, and um, his tummy exploded, and that's that's really uh, the extent of what happened, to be honest. So, um, yeah. Let's go ahead and check out a messages for today. And the Ankylosaurus is at 40%. That's great. Um, research teams are waiting to do something new. Let's go ahead and... Um, let's do a visitor shelter. Why not? What should we do about this? Um, we should research our new, um, stuff. Let's okay. extract it. Let's extract it. Let's extract it. And let's extract it. Okay. It's not that hard. It's not brain surgery. You should know that by now. Many of the visitors are leaving. They're extremely dissatisfied with the qualities of the park. What? What's wrong? I thought you might want to know this. She wants to go... She wants to eat. Um... They expected more. Oh, okay. We need to, we need to put another bathroom down, and we probably need to lower our prices for um, burgers. How are you today? Because um, because people are like just freaking out. Like we're not even charging a lot, really. Um, should I change it to fries? Is that why people are saying like, like are they upset at salads? Are salads really that disgusting? We'll change it to fries and see if they just like change their mind about. It like how they feel about salads. Um, let's go ahead and put another yeah, restroom down, just because, I mean, we probably should um, at this point, yeah, because otherwise, otherwise people are going to just like keep freaking out, and they're going to say, where's the bathroom, where's the bathroom? And um, I will be repeating myself like 80,000 times, so um, yeah. There's another bathroom for all those people who cry their eyes out because they can't find one. And um, we'll put another kiosk over here as well. Um, just because they're all crybabies. There we go. Next to our empty pen. Um, that's lovely. So, let's go back. Let's see what we have in here. We'll put chili in there. And um, a dino dog. Okay. And Can you look after this while I get a soda? we should charge for this bathroom. We should charge one dollar and just see, just see what people say. You know, when they find out that they have to pay a dollar to use the restroom. You know, I think that would be kind of funny, to be honest. Um, what's going on over here? A little dryo is sick, unfortunately. Um, can we do anything about this? Not at the moment. There's Bumblefoot. We don't have Bumblefoot. We have gastric poisoning. Um, a vaccination for that, but we do not have Bumblefoot, so, um, yeah, I don't know what to say, um, it's kind of screwed, I guess, at this point, so, let's, um, go over here to the park, and just take a time out, and kind of reflect, um, and see what we have, oh, a carnivore died, that's a shame, a Dryosaurus is sick, yeah, Engine has repaired the quarter to the port. Let's go check that out. We're having problems with disease. Yeah, okay. Man, is it just me, or is the rain, like, so freaking loud in this game? I can hardly hear myself, you know? It's just unbelievable. Freaking storms, you know? Alright. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go with that. What do we have? Ankylosaurus and, uh, skull dino. Extract those. You know, it's been a while since we've been to the hatchery. Let's just see if we can do any new dinos. 
Oh, we can do a Pachysaurus now. Awesome. Alright. What else can we do? We can do an Ankylosaurus now, too. Awesome. Okay. So, we'll do an Ankylosaurus. And, um, he's gonna be immune when he gets born. Because, um, we're awesome with that now. And, yeah. So, that is, uh, working out well. It's working out well. So, let's just stay here for a minute. And we'll just watch our Ankylosaurus uh, come on out. And introduce himself to the world. Because this is the best part, after all. Message from Dr. Wu. Come on. Come on, you little bugger. Come on out. Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to announce the arrival of our latest attraction, Ankylosaurus. This shy, reclusive herbivore is guaranteed to delight nature lovers. Please enjoy. God. He's huge. He's absolutely huge. And, you know, the sun came out just for him and him making his debut. How do you like that? He just has to be thrilled at this point, really, that um, the Earth cares about him so much. So, that's good. I mean, he's happy, he's healthy, he looks fabulous. That is just awesome. All right. Well, um, we have 53 visitors in the park. We have seven dinosaurs now. Um, we will be having more because we're going to put a uh, Pachyosaurus in there. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and watch his birth. Um, hopefully, it is uh, lovely. Let's go to the fossil market and. Is there anything in here that we could use? Maybe. Not really. Message from Dr. Sackler. Alright, let's look at our. Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to know that we are now exhibiting the hard hitting Cretaceous herbivore, Pachycephalosaurus. Let's go ahead and we'll sell this Pachycephalosaurus. Message from Dr. Grant. We'll sell that. Yeah, we do want to sell that. And we will sell this gold, because what what does gold mean to us? We're trying to make dinosaurs, not money. But we're going to make money anyway. And there is our new dino. There he is. He's looking uh, nice. And um, agile, to say the least. He looks like all his limbs are in order. And he's going to say hi to some of our visitors. So let's see how they react. They're not even going to look at him. Giving him the cold shoulder just because he's the new kid on the block. Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. What do you people even come to this park to see? They just walk around and they're worried about their burgers and their fries and, and their Kansas City Chiefs. And that's, that's all they care about. That's all they care about. It's just unbelievable. What are your instructions? Alright. Well, let's go. And nothing happened. Okay. Um, well, Alan, my instructions are to change where the heck you were digging. That's my instructions, because you're not finding anything there. Mm. Let's go ahead and, um, well, mediocre, mediocre, average. Let's put all three teams at this average place and see what happens uh, with that. Um, huh. Okay. Well... What to do, what to do, what to do. Alright, well, this habitat has remained empty for a while. Um, no matter what. No matter what. Let's check this first. Oh, we can build a visitor shelter. What should we do here? Okay. Let's, um, research something else in security. Uh, sentry turret. That would probably, uh, be wonderful, really. Um, nearby dinosaurs will work. Be repelled by this device and annoyance beacon and high security fences. Um, let's let's research the sentry no turret. Problem. I think that that's probably a smart thing to do, honestly. Um, let's also put down a hatchery and we'll put it like right here, and we will put down. 
Well, you know what? I don't know what kind of dinosaur we're actually going to go here. Um, hmm. Well, you know, I don't think we're going to put any dinos in here yet. We'll worry about a feeder and some other stuff later. For now, I think that that's just what we're going to have. Uh, they found some gold. Okay, we will sell that. Yes. I mean, I love finding gold because, you know, we just get more funds, really. But, you know, it is a little upsetting that uh, we haven't found any more DNA. Let's go ahead and put another one of those in. And we know how that goes. We know the routine by now. Um, let's go ahead and... Let's see here. Can we go to a fossil market? Is there anything... Um, I think we're going to have to buy some amber, to be honest. Because... Oh, Albert's... Albertosaurus. Um, let's, let's buy that. Why not? And let's buy... You know what? Yeah, let's buy that too. Good. Alright. I know I just spent like a, a ton of money on um, freaking DNA, but hopefully it's going to pay off because hopefully we're going to be able to put an yeah, Albertosaurus um, in this pen. And he's going to like be so, so thrilled to have a nice little um, convenient spot located next to his fellow carnivores and um, kitty corner to um, <laughs> a nice array of um, lunch <laughs> um, companions uh, over here in the herbivore section. Um, but yeah, you know, I mean, what, what, can you, what can you say, you know, I mean, really? Um, huh. Well, um, we can build our visitor shelter thing, so let's go ahead and do that. Visitor shelter. Okay. Um, where to put this? Where to put this? I did not allot myself um, much space, to be perfectly frank. And um, I think we need to flatten some of this now just a little bit to um, put our visitor's shelter over here. Come on. Alright, that might be... That might be enough. Um, enough area. Yes, it is enough. Um, for some strange reason, it is not uh, allowing me to um, rotate it at all. So we're just going to put it down. We're going to put it down and we'll extend the path over just, just a wee bit and um, live with that. There we go. Looking good. Looking good. Henry Wu, one of his finest jobs to protect our, uh, our population from um, crazy, crazy dinos. So, uh, let's go back and let's see what Dr. Ren has to say. We found some amber. All right. Let's sell off this gold. We don't need that freaking gold. And, uh, and we didn't even bother to freaking extract Absolutely. those fossils that we got. Because we're not in the ball at all today. Um, we're just like worried about building freaking concrete bunkers for protection against dinosaurs that we don't even have. It's um, it's not, <laughs> it's not going well for us at the moment. Um, because we are not doing our well, jobs really. Um, where did this restroom come from? I did not put this down, did I? Didn't I put this down? I don't remember. I do not remember at all. And that butterfly was yeah, huge. Um, that you saw just a few minutes ago. It was like freaking Cretaceous period. Would you like us um, to something or other. I don't even know. Um, right. Well, let's zoom in. And, um, they're not really finding anything there. Um, any ochre digs there. We'll just go ahead and pull your team out of there. And we'll plop them in, um, in here somewhere. Good, poor, mediocre. So we'll put them all down in the good spot. And hopefully that's going to pay off in a big here. way. As we have our most visitors ever now in the park. 60. Um, and things are looking good. Stego. 
Stango, Stango, Stango. What can we do here? Alright. Yeah, that's great. Hopefully, this is... Hopefully this is gonna pay off and we'll be able to make our Albertosaurus um, after that. And if that's the case, we'll be putting down a carnivore um, feeding area over yonder in the park. But, um, we just have to wait. We have to wait and we have to see uh, what'll happen in regards to that. Because we don't want to jump ahead of ourselves too, too much. Because um, we might just waste money. And that's, that's never a good thing, you know? Alright, I think as the park gets bigger, we need to hire some more cleaning people. And hire two more. And hopefully they will do a good job. Um, let's go over here to the visitor center. And... Huh. You know, I was thinking, maybe we will raise the price, but I think 250 is good for the time being. We don't have a ton of dinosaurs in the park yet, and, um, you know... Oh, that guy has a balloon! Good for you, dude. Good for you. Um, does anyone else want a balloon? Anybody? Anybody at all? No? Alright, well, what are you gonna do? Nah, I'm stuck in the mud, looking at grass, being a dope. Alright, um... Search from Peter Ludlow. Who? Peter... Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's, let's go to the instructions. I already, I already did this, you guys. I am on top of my game right now. Okay, so just stop bothering me with crap like that. Message from Dr. Wee. Oh. We are going to sell the Stego DNA because there's there's no reason for us to have this at this point. We are already making Stegos at the left and right, and um, yeah, we don't need that. Good to see you again. Let's go ahead and make another Stego. Message from Dr. Grant. And he'll come out here soon enough. And Dr. Grant has something to say. Um, we already have 100%, so we can see if it's profit. Okay, good. Good, good, good. That was the dino that is there. Right there. That's our boy. And, um, that Alan found DNA for. And he's 100% complete. There is no frog DNA in him. He's all dino. And, um, he looks it too. He does look it. Especially with that red head. You know, it's not... It's not the most appeasing thing in the world. But, um, let's get off of that and see... Um, why... why are people leaving? This is interesting. Um... The park is filthy. Jurassic Park should be more authentic. How would you like us to make the park more authentic? Ah, people, I swear. The park should be more authentic. What do you want us to do, you know? Do you want us to take down the fences and just let you get eat when, like, you walk in? Would that be authentic enough for you? We can get players. Let's hire another staff. Let's see what the cleaners are doing. What are you doing, cleaner? You're just hanging out at the hamburger joint or the souvenir joint, bozo. Stop ch t talking. No. Yeah, you better clean up. Jeez, what's this guy's name? Me, Nigel. Nigel. Hmm. You're on the watch list, Nigel. Don't, don't be fooling around. Don't be um acting like a bum, because if you do. You, you, you may be getting the axe, my friend. I swear, I'm not even joking about that. Yeah, I know. Um, okay. We know that already. So, let's get off Nigel, and um, let's see what else we can do here. Um, is Stego back in the park, by the way? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's running around. He looks good. He looks like he's having a ball. Um... The park is at two stars. That's great. What should we do about this? Uh, let's go to this. And let's unlock a new dig site. Um, so earlier, I was saying that Hell Creek was probably raptor territory. Um, don't know if... 
Um, oh, it tells you. I, I didn't know that it told you if you just clicked on info. Um, huh. Brachiosaurus, Dilophosaurus. What about here? Um, no raptors in Hell Creek. No raptors. Triceratops. Edmontonsaurus. Um, Taurosaurus. Huh. Well, what should we go after? Huh? Should we go after, um, Tyrannosaurus, perhaps? Which would be at the Amber site. Should we go after, um, what's down here? Brachiosaurus? We don't have enough carnivores in the park yet, so I think we need to go after T-Rex. I think that that's what we need to do. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to unlock that site. And we're going to send all our all our wonderful um, paleontologist over yonder to um, to bring us back some T-Rex DNA. So um, let's let's send it um, good good average. We'll send two there, and we'll send one there, and hopefully they're going to hook us up. So we'll check it out next time, and hopefully when we come back, um, we will have some T-Rex DNA in the next episode. So thanks for watching, and um, we'll see you next time here in Jurassic Park Operation Genesis.